When a man's servant shall play the cur with him, look you, it goes hard. One that I brought up of a puppy, one that I saved from drowning when two or three of his blind brothers and sisters went to it. I have taught him, even as one would say precisely, thus I would teach a dog. I was sent to deliver him as a present to my mistress Sylvia from my master, and I came no sooner into the dining chamber, but he steps me to her trencher and steals her capon's leg. Oh, tis a foul thing when a cur cannot keep himself in all companies. He thrusts me himself into the company of three or four gentlemen like dogs under the duke's table, and he had not been there, bless the mark, a pissing while, but all the chambers smell him. Ah, oh, out with a dog, says one. <coughs> uh, what cur is that, says another. Whip him out, says the third. Hang him up, says the duke. I, having been acquainted with the smell before, knew it was crab, and goes me to the fellow who whips the dog. Friend, quoth I, you need to whip the dog? I, marry, do I. You do him the more wrong, quoth I. Twas I did the thing you wot of. He makes me no more ado and whips me out of the chamber. How many masters would do this for his servant? Nay, I'll be sworn I have sat in the stocks for puddings he hath stolen. Thou thinkest not of this now. Nay, I remember the trick you served me when I took my leave of Madame Sylvia. Did not I bid thee? Still mark me and do as I do. When didst thou see me heave my leg and make water against a gentlewoman's father, Gale? Didst thou ever see me do such a trick? 